Techno, welcome to the London Bluge. What up, peeps? <laughs> what up, peeps? What up, peeps? I'm here with my brother, Matt. You guys might know him. I don't do intros very well. Currently in Sydney Airport. It's home. Home for the next 14 hours. Whoa. We're going to London. Day one, we arrived in London. We were super duper tired. But as you do when you're visiting a city that you really have never explored before, you try and get as much of the touristy stuff done as possible. So we did exactly that. We explored London. We traveled the underground subway. We visited the Lego shop. And then the oh, M&M shop. Oh, it's for the m and store. What do you got there, buddy? A big mug. A big mug. Look. That's all of the M&M's. Popped in for a quick complimentary coffee at the Nespresso store. And then we went to bed. But that's not why we were there. No, 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 no. We were there for Frontier Expo. For those of you unfamiliar with Frontier developments, over the last couple of years, they've given us games like Elite Dangerous, if you're into space games, check that one there out. They brought us Planet Coaster. If you haven't heard of that one, you're living under a rock. I uploaded a bunch of videos over that earlier this year and last year. And next year, next year is the year. Because next year they are releasing, in coincidence with Jurassic World 2, Jurassic World Evolution. Don't look at me. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up guys, Mr. Miola here at Frontier Expo 2017. Got so these two hard. creamers Finally laughing at me. I told you guys I was coming to London this week. We're here to check out the new Jurassic World game. We're going to be finding out some awesome new information and seeing the world exclusive of in-game footage. I'm super excited. What up, peeps? We're doing the Vloge takeover because Mr. Miola doesn't even know how to Vloge. And he's, he's basically too chicken to do it. So, I'm here with the Bean King at Frontier Expo. Allow me to tell you the story of how I became the Bean King. <laughs> oh, I can't zoom in enough with this. Whoa. It's gulpy. Aww. Aww. How sweet. So the doors have officially opened and it is a pretty darn packed in here. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, so, a video? that's so embarrassing. I was... Wow. Do you, imagine do you think you're something... I'm done, alright? I'm done. No more vlogging today. But check this out. They're doing like a full like stage show and stuff out here. There's supposed to be like 500 seats out there. I didn't get one, so uh, yeah, but this is what we're most excited for all the way down here. There it is. There it is. 3 p.m. 5 p.m. Yeah, that's a 5. There's a 3 there too. See? Well, that's, not the, that's the gameplay reveal though. Content reveal. Let me do my thing. Alright, so now that everybody's in the auditorium area, uh, this place is nice and quiet and empty. But we're gonna go and watch the actual show from the VIP green room in here. This is our little lounge that we've got for the day. There's some couches, some beanbags over here. And here we have the live show. Which you guys could be watching on stream right now. Whoa! Chief Beef! Funny story, right? So we're at dinner last night and we sat next to the Gaming Beaver, another like dinosaur YouTuber that I'd never met previously. And he was telling us how he was driving down from wherever he lives in his Jurassic Park mobile and he parked it out the front. That's the only reason he's here. Well, turns out that this car right here is actually his. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was just pulling my leg, but no, this is the Gaming Beaver's vehicle. How cool is that? I think I need one. I need, the, I need to be the Australian Jurassic Park guy. So there's currently another talk going just behind me. They're talking to a thrill scientist who studies the science of thrill apparently. So I thought, I thought we'd go around this little room, well this big room, so it's quite a big room here. Let's take a little look around and I'll show you guys what's going on out here. This is actually something I haven't played with yet, but I really want to get in there and try this out. They apparently got this like challenge going where um, it's uh, Elite Dangerous. I don't know what the challenge is exactly. Let's have a look. It says, so if you win, you get to name your own star system in Elite Dangerous, which is pretty cool, but um, I don't know how to play the game. The controls look quite difficult. 
<laughs> quite difficult. But yeah, they got two of these like really big pods set up over here. They're actually really, really cool looking. Looks like there's like hot games and stuff in the middle of the table, which is sweet. And then over here is like the, oh, caught a bit of light there. Over here they got like the Planet Coaster area. There's a bunch of people playing the game on all of these rigs. And then last but not least, I showed you these guys right at the start of the video. These here, it turns out they're actually from Universal Studios. Pretty cool looking dinosaurs. There it is. Still haven't heard anything about that. That is coming soon. So Miola's still not doing any vlogs, so we have to do the vlogs for him. So we're here outside of Frontier Expo. There's the building there if you want to enter. We'll take you on a tour. I'm not going to do that much vlogging for him, but there'll be, there'll be some here and there. He was going to do it and then kept not doing it. So we figured we'd steal the camera and uh, do some high quality. Like show him how it's done, you know? So here we are. So let's do a little bit of a tour around this main area. Here we have the eating area. There we have the streaming area. Yeah, there's like the streaming room over here where uh, if I live stream, that's where it'll be. It's a little bit blurry though. I don't know why you can't really see that on the camera. Then through here, it's kind of like a couch thing. James is going to be doing a stream over there. I'm not because I'm camera shy. You guys know that already. I'm a really, really awkward camera guy. Clearly, I mean, look at this vlog, right? Over here, we got booths. Booths and booths and booths. There's a couple more around there as well. And then, here, we have the man beast himself. Up, peeps? The one they call James Turner. They say we look alike, which I think. Well, I mean, we are cousins. Is a so major compliment. We're cousins. We are so cousins. That makes sense. I mean, brothers, cousins. We actually do look alike. Oh my god. So I have a question. On a scale of plus four to minus four, how aroused are you from this vlog? Let me know in the comments. Over here we've got, it's kind of like the history of Frontier and all the games that they've worked on over the years. Unfortunately though, the, uh, the, the flicker on the screens is just showing up through the camera a little bit on some of them, but oh well. See, so yeah, I've got all the different games through here. I think that one, I just don't know what game this is. There's dinosaurs in it though. Might need to find out. Oh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Durr. It's Realville there. I don't know what this little one up here is. <laughs> it's kind of cool though, it's like on a photo frame. Down here. Oh, a dog's alive. Lost Winds, Tales from Deep Set. Connect Animals, that was them as well. And then, I guess, yeah, this is Connect Animals right here. Oh Jesus! So over here we got these two little, these two fellas over here, these little creeps. James is like streaming live on Twitch right now on this conflict nerd. I, he, he's I, just a I was scurrying off frame, damn it! He's a conflicted I'm nerd. <laughs> Go check out his channel, Conflict Nerd. Oh, check out my channel. And here we have people walking. And some more people walking. <laughs> And a lot of people, people like talking. Yep. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, dab on the haters. You wait for a little while, and out pops a dinosaur. And then you get a whole bunch of them. And once you get a whole bunch of them, then they conspire. <laughs> because they're social. They conspire. And, of course, they eat everybody. <laughs> they eat the bad people. Did you notice they only ate bad people? <laughs> Alright, so we just went and watched a presentation by actually a guy who worked on the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World films. He was basically the guy, he's a paleontologist, the guy that the scientist dude from the movies that created Jurassic Park is based after. And he actually helped with the creation and all of that. And he is studying the, the, the science of recreating dinosaurs. And apparently they're, they're really close to being able to do it. Yeah, they're like turning chickens into dinosaurs in real life right now. And the only thing left that they want to do is tails. They can't work out how to give a chicken a tail, like a proper dinosaur tail. But they've given them teeth, they've given them a different shaped head, and there was a third one. Oh, hands, hands and arms. So um, sometime in like the next 50 years or so, it looks like we may have our own little pet chicken dinosaurs, chickenosauruses, 
which is bloody awesome. Um, also, it turns out, well, yeah, they're all like chickens. No, they're all birds. All dinosaurs are birds, apparently. Anyways, he gave this really cool talk. It was really, really awesome. And in any, well, in about half an hour or so, they're actually going to be revealing finally all the Jurassic World and all, all the all the new content, the first gameplay of the new Jurassic World Evolution game. And like, I don't know if you can see the stage, but it's it's, it's a while away. And these are like all the people ready to watch it. It's crazy. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to see from here, so I'm going to have to find somewhere else to watch it from. Yay! It's time we're finally getting the reveals. I got I got I got Baron here. We've got the gaming beavers here. We got little James the boy. What up? And uh, the reveals are about to happen. We're about to see the very first gameplay footage of Jurassic World well Evolution. Hey! Jurassic World Evolution. Here it is. Here it is. To the stage! <laughs> Hello, <everybody. laughs> Game Director and lead designer, Andrew Fletcher! Uh, this is a render of one of the actual in-game assets. Uh, this is our Parasaurolophus. Time, guys! Did I mention this is in-game footage? <laughs> And unfortunately, that's where the vlog ends. <laughs> my camera died. My battery went flat. I forgot to charge it and that was all I got. But we captured majority of the day. I want to talk to you about it now. I want to talk to you about what we witnessed. The game footage. If you haven't seen the gameplay trailer, make sure to go and watch it. I might actually do a separate video like analyzing that and talking about that. But we'll give it a bit of a brief run through right now so the day was amazing it was awesome there was a bunch of different talks about the different games and whatnot one of them i actually attended that i didn't expect to and the gaming beaver is the guy who kind of brought me along to that one because he was he's super keen into dinosaurs and well i am too so i went along with him and we actually got spoken to by a guy that worked very closely on jurassic park and jurassic world like literally side by side with like the director and cast it's crazy um basically from what we were told or what he kind of explained He's a paleontologist and the movie's sort of based, like what the character is basically based on him in a way. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of similarities between him and yeah, the character from the movie. This guy was the first person to find dinosaur embryos. He's been trying to recover dinosaur DNA from living dinosaurs. He is responsible for the biggest find of dinosaur skeletons ever. And also finding out that dinosaurs kind of evolved from birds, not lizards um and that kind of happened after the creation of jurassic world because he really wanted sorry not jurassic world jurassic park because he wanted jurassic park to be as accurate as possible only to find out that well they, they kind of changed the whole world's perception of dinosaurs forever a lot of people were still under the misunderstanding that dinosaurs were reptiles or you know kind of turned into reptiles down the road truth be told they they believe that they actually came from birds and that were they were more feathered creatures than reptilian scaly creatures so like your raptors and your t-rexes and whatnot they really had feathers on them instead or your trikes trikes were like these vibrant colorful rainbow colors more like 
birds, like your cassowaries, or like your birds with really vibrant coloured beaks and stuff, because they're all made from the same materials and stuff. Anyways, I'm getting way into it, way deep. If you want to look into more of that, I'm sure there's plenty more information on Google. But it was a fascinating talk, and basically... Him and his team are currently trying to create, recreate dinosaurs from chickens. From chickens of all things. Apparently it's a pretty close relationship there. They have, well, there's basically four things that they want to work out. One of them is to change the shape of the head because dinosaurs, I mean, a chicken head, a dinosaur wouldn't be that intimidating, you know what I mean? So they and they've worked out how to do that. They've managed to manipulate the head to make it look a little bit different. They've given it teeth because dinosaurs have teeth. So they've worked out how to do that. They've, they've managed to do that. They've also given chicken arms and hands. So picture a chicken with a different, like a, like a, a lizard head on it with teeth, with arms and hands like a, a T-Rex, I suppose. Maybe something a little bit bigger. They've managed to do that. The fourth requirement that they've struggled with is the tail. They can't get a tail. I take that back. No, they, they have worked out how to grow a tail, a proper tail, a dinosaur tail out of a chicken. They just can't get it to stop growing. It would just grow infinitely. Um, so that's what they're going to do. Once they work that out, it is very likely we may eventually have pet chickens, pet chickenosauruses, pet dinosaurs running around. Well, I don't know if they'll ever be pets, but they might be real. Dinosaurs might be real. Anyways, enough about that. The gameplay. The gameplay was then shown to us, and my god, it looks beautiful! It looks great! It was confirmed that the game is going to be like a dinosaur park management type of game, similar to Planet Coaster in a way, except you're managing a dinosaur, a, a, a Jurassic World. You're, you're doing your own Jurassic World. There's a bunch of different islands that will be unlockable throughout the game, I believe, that you can build on. Varying difficulties and challenges, different resources you can get from different ones and whatnot like that. They are working with Universal uh, Studios very, very closely. In fact, Universal Studios has, I believe, supplied them with a lot of the models for the dinosaurs. So the dinosaurs in the game are basically going to look identical to the dinosaurs in the movie, which I think is insane. Um, um, that's gonna be really really cool. The animations look incredible. At one point in the trailer They actually show like a trike kind of like laying down like it went to like sit down lay down against a fence and it just looked It looks really really good the sounds as well I believe uh, those from the movie as well. They've worked together with Universal to get everything as close as possible um, The game is looking incredible. I cannot wait for this one If you guys do want to see a further analysis like going through the trailer bit by bit and talking to you guys through it Make sure to let me know down below in the comments or you can let me know by going ahead punching the thumbs up Making a rain those thumbs up so you guys know how it works But all in all Frontier Expo was an awesome time It's really cool not only to see like the Jurassic World fans like the real hardcore dinosaur fans But just games like Elite Dangerous and Planet Coaster have such a high hardcore fan base it is so cool to see such awesome communities based around these games it's it's fanatic it's crazy there are some like it's it's insane it's awesome but it's it's so cool to see them all in one place just the passion for these games it's it's undeniable it's amazing i really want to play elite dangerous but like i want to get the full like you can get like a full controller system going where you like push the boosters and you turn and like joysticks and stuff I want to do that. We'll see how that goes. It looks like it might be a little bit expensive to set that up. But yeah, thank you so much to Frontier for flying me out. It was an awesome weekend. And I'm super duper duper excited to play Jurassic World Evolution once it comes out. You will definitely see that on the channel. Definitely. 100%. 110 the million, thousand percent. You're going to see it on the channel. And thanks to all the, uh, the YouTubers and people that made the weekend as amazing as it was. The Frontier people who organized the event, the, the guys I spent most of the weekend with, James, Conflict Nerd, The Gaming Beaver, Baron, Doom, I think that's everyone. If I forgot anybody, my apologies. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys with some more videos very, very soon. Bye for now. Yeah.